guys, welcome to this finger picking lesson. Marco here. Let's talk about chords, basic chords, and how to transform these basic chords and make them sound cool and a little bit more professional. Okay. Now we're gonna use um, a couple of different things, you know, such as adding extensions to the chord, adding a short melody to the chords. So hopefully you're gonna like this lesson, and I try to keep things very simple. Okay. Now guys, you can get hold of the tab, check my Patreon page, you know, you can get this tab as well as all the YouTube tabs and additional finger picking programs. Also subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up with all the upcoming lessons. Now let's have a close up and let's get started. All right guys, now the chord progression, super simple. G major, E minor, C major, and the D major chord, okay? Now how do we transform the things? The first step is to add extensions to the chords, okay? And what an extension is, is basically an additional note that we add on top of the basic chord. Now, when I play the first chord, the G major chord, is basically three notes. The G, the root note, the B, the major third, and the D, which is the perfect fifth, right? Now, the extension will be an additional note such as the seventh, the ninth, the eleventh, or the thirteenth, right? For the G, I'm gonna use a major nine, so. Beautiful sounding chord, okay? And I'm playing it like this. We have the low E fret number three, which is the root note, the D string open, and the G string fret number two, and the B string open. Root note, fifth, major nine, and the major third, okay? Now the picking pattern is really, really important because you wanna make sure that this chord uh, ring out beautifully, okay? So you're gonna have, so you have six, four, three, four, six, and two, so, all right, beautiful sounding chord. Now the second chord is E minor, and I want to play a different chord, still basic, but with an extension, so I'm playing an E minor seven. Picking pattern is the same, the rhythm is the same. And I'm playing it like this, so I have the low E, open string, which is the root note, the D string for number two, which is another E, the root note, the G string open, which is the fifth, and then I have the, um, sorry, the G is the minor third, and then I have the B string fret number three, which is the note D, the minor seven. The finger picking pattern is the same. So I have six, four, three, four, six, and two. Now the third chord, C major seven. Beautiful sounding chord. And I'm playing it like this. I have the um, A string for number three, the root note, the D string for number two, the major third, and the B string, sorry, the G string open, which is the fifth, and the B string open, which is, which is the major seven, okay? Same picking pattern, okay? I have five, four, three, four, five, Two. All right, and then I have the last chord. Chord is a D, beautiful D suspended chord. Okay, it could be a D suspended or it could be a D R eleven. And I'm playing it like this. I have the A string fret number five, which is the root note. Uh, the D string fret number four, which is the F sharp, the major third, the G string open, which is the 11th, okay? And the B string fret number three, which is the note D, another root note. Now, because with this chord, we're playing the major third, uh, and then we play the 11th, I would consider this chord to be an R11 chord, um, and rather than be a sus4 chord, because usually the sus4 is without the major third, without the third, okay? So because we're playing the third, we call this one a D add 11, okay? Beautiful sounding chord. And pick, finger picking pattern is the same, five, four, three, four, two. And we kind of let it ring out a little bit more. So we play the same picking pattern, okay? And with a little bit of vibration, I really like to emphasize the last chord. Trying to move your guitar a little bit to vibrate the chord. Alright, 
So this is the very first uh, example, okay? But then there is another thing that we can do, which I'm gonna show you right now, and is adding a short melody within the chords. Let's check it out. Now guys, you can develop a little bit if you wanna um, kind of, you know, spice things up with a melody, and you can add a melody within the chords. So you can keep the same arpeggio, and then you can add a melody. way to really spice things up and still you know keep the 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 chord progression pretty simple now the arpeggio is the same and the melody is on the E string fret number three two open and the B string fret number three okay now the second chord E minor same arpeggio and then we have E string open, the B string fret 3, 1, open. Third chord C major 7, same arpeggio. And then the phrase is slightly different. It's going, it's going up rather than down. So we have the G string open, G string open, fret number 2, the B string open, and the G string fret number 2, okay? And then after that, we're gonna play the D chord, which is slightly different here, uh, which is going to sound like this. Okay, so I'm playing the D with different voicing, uh, and um, once I play the G string fret two, I play the D string open, which is my root note, and then I put down a D chord, which is two, three, and two, and I play it simultaneously, and then the B and E string fret number three, and then B string fret three and the E string fret number five. So I kind of changed the voicing on the chord. Okay, beautiful way to spice things up. And so as you can see, we just added a melody on top of the basic chord that the basic chords that we basically change it. Okay. Now guys, there is still one thing that you can do. You can still add strumming and single note, okay? Which is like this. Okay, now let me show you how to do that. The chord progression is slightly different. We have E minor, C major, G and D, okay? And I'm playing an E minor seven which is open, two, two, open, three, and three, okay? And what I'll do here, guys, is to be very simple. I have two strums, okay? Um, one down stroke and one up stroke. The up stroke is just on the top three strings, okay? So I don't strum the whole thing. And then a C, a beautiful C add nine, which is still a basic chord, uh, which is um, a string fret number three, then the fret number two on the D string, G string open, B and E string fret number three. And I strum the chord one time, okay? So, and then the phrase, the same one that we learned, okay? So the E string fret number three, two, open, and the B string fret number three. And I'm trying to hold down the bass note so that it still ring out. Okay. Then G major. And I had the same approach here. G major, guys, very simple, basic chord. Two strumming. Down, up, and the D major. And then just a short phrase. E string fret number two, open, and the B string fret number three. Okay, so. Very simple, okay? So the whole thing. And um, you know, the second time I just play an E minor, a C with a phrase, and then a D major. And I have D major, then the E string fret number 
three, they suspended, and then the E string fret number five. So I end up, I end up playing open, two, three, five. All right, that's it. You know, it's a beautiful way to really spice things up. We don't necessarily have to make the chords too difficult. And then I finish with a beautiful G add nine chord, okay? Now guys, this is just an example in E minor, okay? There are a lot of different options, different keys will have different ideas and different things, but just start with the E minor, which is with the G major, you know, G, G major slash E minor key to make the thing easy and cool. Let me know if you liked the lesson, guys, and I'm gonna see you on the next video.